Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be testing out the Lethelli U20 cordless weed whacker and the Lethelli U20 13 inch 20 volt brushless lawnmower. Now this is a 40 volt brushless system here. It uses two 2.5 amp hour U20 batteries. This is our newly designed battery, which is the same battery that was in the snow blowers that I reviewed earlier in the year from this company. Same design though, they pop right in the back here. They have a USB-A and a USB-C port on the batteries as well so that you could charge up your devices and essentially use these as power banks. And I am gonna be testing out the lawnmower as well. However, I did not receive it yet because it was out of stock. So stick around to the end of this video to see that. Now as a disclosure, Lethelli did send me this for testing and review. And I also let this grass grow for four to five weeks before trimming with a weed eater because I knew I was getting these so I wanted to let it grow up nice and high for a really good test and when I get the lawnmower I'm just going to keep letting this grow hopefully I get it within the next week or two or I'll probably have to cut it with my other mower if I don't get it by then I'm going to start a timer and we're going to see just how long this string trimmer will last now what's pretty cool is this has two speeds that's low that's high and it's really lightweight. It has a bump stop underneath for your line. You just tap it off the ground for the line to expand. And it has a 13.8 inch cutting width and it takes 0.085 size line. And there's two tabs in here. You just pinch those tabs and you can pull that whole end off to get to the line to rewrap it. So pretty easy. Now, one thing I do have to get used to is this spins in reverse of my gas trimmer. So I'll have to actually go around my house the opposite way, which actually I'm cool with because I always wanted to go that way, but my other trimmer always spun the other way. So I'm sure I'll get used to it. So let's get into it. I'm going to start a timer and see how long it lasts. This is making some quick work of this. Very nice. Let's try low speed now. So low speed is working, but with this grass letting it grow for four to five weeks, it's a little high. So I'd probably cut this on high speed, but typically I trim every other week. So I'd probably just use low speed. Nice. Let's try a low speed again. So far it's working really well. And then I typically do around these, just around these posts, all on low speed here. Let me kick it to high. We're going to go do around the whole house first and around the sidewalk, and then I'll come back up and finish around the garden in case I run out of juice. Grass is getting a little thicker here. Let me kick the high. I'm gonna give it a little bit of bump here. You can see my line's getting a little short. I'm gonna get, give it a little bump, get some line out. Back to low speed. Still on low speed here, but this is working really well. My other cordless string trimmers that I have are really old and they're only 20 volt. This 40 volt definitely works a lot better than the 20 volt ones. And you do have to have both batteries in here for this to work. You can't just run it off of one 20 volt battery. This is a little thicker here. I'm gonna bump it up to high. Uh, 
See, I'm so used to going that way, I gotta go clockwise. <laughs> Now I'll probably have to bump this line here again soon because these block here really shorten the line up. It really eats the line going up along these rough block like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump some more line out. All right, so right now we're down to about two battery bars, which is about half, and we're about 14 minutes in. And that was pretty much straight weed whacking from when I started. I tried to not stop in between at all, and most of the time on high. So there's no doubt that I'm gonna be able to finish this, and that's with leaving it grow twice as long than what I normally do. So I think it's gonna work out perfect for me. This is on high speed. Let me switch to low and see how low speed cuts this thicker grass. There's low speed. Still cutting it pretty good. But high does work a little bit better. I can tell you one thing that's really noticeable after using this for about 20 some minutes and that's the weight is really nice, not hurting my back or anything. So a lot lighter than my gas trimmer, that's for sure. But it's hogging right through this thick stuff. Nice. And I wouldn't normally trim this much with this either. Normally I would cut with the push mower first and then there would really only be a little strip that I would have to trim up with the string trimmer. But I wanted to give this a good test. If you guys are interested in ordering one of these or the push mower after you're done watching this video and feel like it's something that's gonna fit your needs, I'll put affiliate links down below to both this and the mower as well as some extra batteries if you're interested in picking one up. And that will be an affiliate link which will help support the channel and these reviews. So thanks for using it if you decide to. Let's finish it up. All right, now I have noticed once the battery does get a little bit low, there's not a huge difference between low and high speed. There's low speed. There's high speed. So there's still a little bit of a difference, but it doesn't, it's not as noticeable as it was when it was fully charged. All right, I actually didn't expect it to still be going. I wanna to try to leave some grass for the push mower whenever I get it. <laughs> Let's try to finish it up under here and see if a battery dies.
All right, guys, well, it's still going. Let's see what we got now. We still got one battery bar and one of the batteries it is flashing actually they both are flashing no one bar is flashing on one of the batteries the other one has one bar but it's still solid and that's 31 minutes so far maybe took me a minute to walk around there so definitely at least 30 minutes but i'm gonna call it quits there guys because that's actually all i normally do so it's gonna work out perfect now keep in mind if you do get the mower along with this trimmer it comes with a four amp hour battery but only one of them i think there may be a package with two four amp hour batteries but if you wanna use the four amp hour batteries in here, you can, but you would have to buy an additional one if you bought the mower also. But if you buy replacement batteries for this, I just recommend buying the four amp hour batteries and then it'll probably last you at least 45 to 50 minutes per charge. Even light enough for my son to use. That's nice, maybe I won't have to weed whack anymore. <laughs> Definitely gotta get some better attire for him though, but he wanted to try it out. What do you think? Good job. So I don't have to weed whack anymore? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes, he says. <laughs> I thought I was getting off easy. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I finally got the Lethele U20 13 inch brushless cordless lawnmower. And we're going to be putting it through a test today because it's been another two weeks since I went around with the weed whacker and my garden area is super thick. Now, I honestly do not think it's even going to come close to cutting this really thick grass because even my gas mower is going to give me a hard time cutting this. I did cut half the garden two weeks ago because I was unsure when this was coming. So we're gonna start out in that part and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this really, really thick stuff to see if it works, but I don't think it's going to. Now I already used this thing for about 14 minutes, went around my whole house like I did with the weed whacker, went along all the sidewalks around the house and I have two battery bars left. Now this takes the same style U20 battery and the lawnmower does come with one four amp hour battery. Underneath here is where the batteries go. You only need one battery to make this mower work because it's 20 volt. However, they do give you a secondary slot here to store an additional battery, but it does not run off both at the same time. Me personally, I think I would have liked to have seen a 40 volt mower, but in reality, this thing's only 13 inches wide. So it's gonna be really nice for getting in tight spaces and around small things. But the number one reason why I wanted this mower is for this garden area and underneath this trampoline because I can't get my gas mower underneath it easily. And I think this one's gonna do a great job because I could just flip these levers, put the handle down and get right underneath my trampoline. But check this thing out. This thing is so cute and lightweight. Little 13 inch blade there, comes with a small little bagger. One thing I noticed, the bagger does not fit out through the handle, so you have to take it down underneath, but cute little bagger here. You got five levels of adjustability on your height here. Now I did notice that I cut mostly in four today, and this deck is almost all the way up. There's only one more adjustment to go just a little bit higher, and we're gonna try to cut this thick stuff in the highest setting. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and put it back down onto four and trim under the trampoline first. We'll see how long the rest of this battery lasts, and then we'll throw in a fresh battery and try to cut this really thick stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and flick these these handles out here so I can lower this handle down and get right underneath this trampoline. And when I start this thing up, you can listen to it. It has an automatic speed adjustment. There's two speeds. It'll start out in slow speed. And then when it hits higher grass, you'll hear the speed ramp up. So pay attention for that. And you can hear it ramping up if the grass is taller or ramping down if it's shorter. That's slow speed. And you can hear it ramped up to high speed as soon as they hit that thicker grass. And it does have a break when you shut it off, it will stop spinning. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down to the lowest setting here underneath the trampoline and see how that does. This thing is super lightweight, easy to push around. I think that's a little bit too low there. I think I might be getting into the dirt. I better raise that back up. This used to be horrible trying to weed whack under here. This is gonna make it nice, at least for this. It just ramped down there in speed by itself.
So really nice for getting up underneath these tight areas. Sometimes I feel like I wish there was a button though to where I could pick the speed up when I wanted to. For the most part though, it does a pretty good job by doing it automatically. On slow speed, it is really nice and quiet. And we're just about done here. Get right up in between these tight spots here. My gas motor is too wide to fit through this spot here. So this makes it nice being only 13 inches to get into here. And that's it. And this handle only locks in in one position. So you can't put it wherever you want and lock it in. That would have been nice to see a little bit better adjustment there. But pretty nice that you could just unclip these really quick to get under things easily. All right, here we go. Through the thicker stuff. And it ramped up in speed there. The thicker grass, you do kind of have to go slow. But I think for this garden area, this is gonna be perfect. Even for my son to use. Because he's pretty little, he should have no problem pushing this thing around. So you do have to go somewhat slower here on this really thick stuff. You can hear it dying down there. I'll probably pick the, the blade up a little bit and probably go over this twice because this is actually a few weeks of cutting here between cuts. So it's a little thicker than normal. And actually the bag's full, so that's another reason why it was dying down. Empty this out. And that was actually the fourth bag on this battery. I did not raise the deck yet. We'll see how it cuts through this stuff here. Actually not too bad. I think the bag was just getting full, so it was slowing down there a little bit. So I don't know how well this thing would really mulch. And thick grass, probably not too good. It'll probably die down pretty easily. But bagging it seems to cut through this stuff pretty good here. Yes, yeah, so that's killing it pretty good there. That thicker stuff. So if you're one that doesn't cut your grass for like, I don't know, once a month, this probably isn't gonna be the mower for you. But if you cut it on a weekly basis, you shouldn't have any problems. Like I said, this is about two weeks worth here. And I'm on almost the maximum height setting. I got one more setting to go. Let's put it up to the max height here and try that. And I think the battery might be starting to get a little low because I haven't really noticed much of a pickup in speed now. So I'll probably change the battery here soon. We'll just keep cutting until it doesn't cut anymore. But honestly, not too bad though. This stuff's pretty thick here and it's still cutting through it pretty good. Very easy to maneuver in this garden area though. Once I get this fence up around here, this is gonna make it nice in here. That's the number one reason why I wanted this little 13 inch mower. Now, if you have a bunch of yard like this, this definitely is not the mower for you. But if you have just a little small patch like this, then this will probably work out great for you. But I would not be buying this if I had to cut all this with it. For one, with a 13 inch deck, that would probably take forever. Yeah, there's almost no high speed now, so battery is probably getting a little low. When I dump this next bag, we'll see what it's at. I'm assuming it's probably at around one bar. Nope, still two bars. And there's actually a little sight hole in here. When you lift this up, you can see if your bag's kind of full. One thing I noticed when you don't have the bag on, it shoots grass out here, but this does tend to clog up pretty easily. Now I have the deck set a little bit lower and going back over this here. 
Gonna make it nice for getting down between these raised beds here. So that's some pretty thick stuff there. Once I cut it weekly here, I don't think I'll have a problem. Yeah, this is where I wish it would have been 40 volts. All right, so I've been cutting off for around 29 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this battery out. Let's see where it's at. Down to one bar. So once you get down pretty low, you're not really gonna notice the two-speed difference, but let's pop a new battery in here and try to cut that thicker stuff and see how it cuts. Put that in the storage side and pop a fresh one in this side. Right, we'll go back down through here first with the deck a little bit lower. And I can already tell the difference having that fresh battery in there. So if you don't cut your grass very often, I recommend getting more than one battery. I think they might sell a kit that comes with two batteries. I'll put a link in the description below if I can find that kit. This is some pretty thick stuff here. Not super tall, just thick. I think my bag might be full also. Yeah, I think it's full. Uh, not really. It is clogged up though. All right, I have the deck all the way up. Fresh battery, let's see how this thick, thick stuff will cut. Just heard it ramp up. No way. I did not expect it to cut that. Now this bag's probably gonna fill up pretty quickly. But honestly, my gas mower, the bag always clogs up really quick when I have the deck lower. And I'm trying to cut this thick stuff. So you'll definitely be emptying the bag fairly quickly if you're cutting like this. But it's cutting it. Pretty impressive. And it's kind of clogged up already. The bag's not full, but it is clogged up here. But that's typical even of my gas mower. What's nice, this thing's lightweight. You can move it wherever you want. Really putting this mower through a test here. This thing probably would have really ripped if it was 40 volt. Got my son trying it out. He said, can I try? <laughs> he killed it. <laughs> there you go. This tall stuff here is definitely too much for the mower, but it is doing it. You can see it is cutting it, it's just taking some time. But as I said, this is probably about almost two months of growth here. So don't let your grass get this high. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna be about it for this video. As you can see, if your grass is tall like this and you cut it once every two months or you have an acre or so of property like this, this isn't gonna be the mower for you. The weed whacker worked excellent. I kinda wish that was 40 volts, but in my opinion, it's doing a pretty good job for what it is. 
it's gonna be perfect for this garden area as long as I cut it weekly or even every two weeks. And underneath that trampoline, it was definitely worth it just for that alone. Cause I hated weed whacking under there. And if you're interested in picking some of these up, I'll leave links down below in the description. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and I will see you all around on the next one. Thanks for watching everyone. Whew.